Hey everybody, welcome back. Doing a little teardown video tonight. Had a couple requests. Want to see what's going on inside this fancy dancy jade bug out here. And then we got a backup one here just in case and compare it to you. What's up, Dom? It's going down. Looking for my favorite driver. What's up, Zach? What's up, Crystal? Trying to find, I put a, moved a bunch of stuff and cleaned up in my office, so. What's up, Mike? What's up, OCD? Glock by my side, Andrew, what's going down? What's up, Freedom? Oh man, thanks for joining. Brewer95, Nick, Kevin, what's up, what's up? Yeah, we're going to take a peek at this today. What's up, August West? Jeff, what's going down? We're going to do a little teardown of this real quick and see what's inside. Because I'm pretty sure, what's up, Deadpool Lee? Those standoffs right there are going to be a little bit bigger than the ones that are on the standard ones. So all the aftermarket scales won't fit, is what I'm guessing. And you could do blade swaps, but... Trying to add something new might not work. What's up, Chris? So anyway, so I'm just going to bust out my little uh, box here. What's up, Johnny Bobo? Barry Levitt? What's going down? The best grip on the bug out. Oh, you know what? I mean, I'm really sorry. I know I liked your comment. I've been meaning to try. I got a little sick yesterday, so I've been trying to like get caught up on stuff today, comments and everything, but just recovering from that. What's up, Mondak? So we're gonna do a famous little T6 for this one. We're just gonna put this together. Well, I can't find my favorite little driver, so we're using this one. You know, in a pinch, use this. I think so. I think so, Andrew. So we're gonna close this knife for safety purposes. I think I moved it all because I was cleaning up and the bits were all there. I have the bits right here. I just can't find the driver. What's up, Kevin? Yeah, I won't talk too much about the bug, but yeah. What's up, Fallen Knight? So we're gonna do a quick little, it's probably gonna mess it up because I think everything freshly, uh, Loctited from the factory. But yeah, figure I'll tear one of these down, see what's going on. I know there's some people that want to see it anyways, so that'll be good. Nice, nice. Right on, Kevin. Is that a clone? Which one are you talking about? This one right here? This is a, uh, what's up, P. Watkins? This is a blacked out bug out. From Blade HQ. What's up, Frank? With, uh, oh, I see what you're saying. With a Jade G10 on it from uh, Flightanium. So, yeah. So it's kind of a, you can see the differences in the Jade on those. I know, yeah. <laughs> Frank, that's funny. I totally forgot about that. And then as soon as I started talking, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But I want to get these apart because I want to see it, how those compare. And this mat right here is the one from uh, Ben who left uh, Blade HQ. So he's selling them on his website. Knives.com. Knives. Knives.com. Kind of a cool little mouse pad thing. I don't get anything. I bought mine, so. But they're cool. Yeah. Give some good terminology. Good little breakdown. It's kind of a mini version of the poster. So that's good. All right, so let's take this part. I think this Weehaw bit hell fit in here be the 10. Yeah, it's a fantastic one. It's a Benchman's little kit. I'm in Oregon. Uh, of course, that's the wrong one. Get it on this one. There we go. 
We use that one for the driver. If I miss anybody's question, just re-ask it. I'm trying to multitask a little bit. But all stainless steel hardware on this one. So supposed to make it easier. Okay. Heard a little southern twang from nafs.com. Yeah, so anyway, so kind of like they said, let me get a, get a rag here. But kind of like they said, um, and I covered in my video just a little tiny bit, these were a uh, Laird G10, and everything basically was milled out. Oh, cool, Bob, right on. So anything that you're seeing through here, and it's kind of faded a little bit, you know, it's just a dual layer G10. So they have a dual layer G10 and kind of put the, the butterfly in there. So hopefully you can see the layers there. But pretty cool. Then a little cut out for, you know, your frame and all that. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, Bob. So my goal is to see if these other ones fit inside here. Um, so I want to see if I can do it without taking the whole thing apart. Maybe just take one of these out and see if they'll fit in the other knife. Cause there's really no sense if they don't fit to tear the other knife apart too. Uh, knives.com K N A F S. It's right up here at the top. K N A F S.com. He's also selling them on Amazon too, I think. So what's up CK? Thanks for joining. So yeah, you can get them on there on Amazon too. So if you have Amazon Prime or something, you can get uh, free shipping and those kind of things. And his site might take you to the Amazon, I'm not sure. So okay, so here's the standoff. And it's probably gonna be hard to see. But here's the standoff for this one. Now let's get a standoff. I kind of got one close by, so hold on here. Did I miss a question in there? Yeah, so I reposted one. If you have my my Instagram, I reposted one from someone on Instagram that had dyed theirs black. And it looks pretty sweet. It's solid, you know? I mean, it's a solid black knife that we're all used to. So what's up, Spirited Whiskey? So that's, what, that's what's going on with that. And it looks pretty sweet. So I reposted it just because I think it's awesome. So... I guess I gotta grab my other ones here. I just gotta step over to my other table. Grab my other parts. Pretty sweet deal though. Of course the one thing I wasn't I didn't double check. Okay. Well, either way, let's just take this one apart real quick. So that'll be the fun part. And I think I can do it. I should be able to do this one with just the driver. $14.99 on Amazon. Oh, that's a good price. That's a really good price. So let me just put these up here. Yeah, they're super cool. You can use them as a mouse pad or for knife stuff. They're similar to like the knife, just a smaller version, a little tiny bit smaller than the big ones they make, but they're still pretty big. I mean, you can see, got several knives on here and all that. Spyderco lightweight blade will fit in the G10 scales. Um, you mean the Spyderco scales will fit in the lightweight scales? I'm not sure, I haven't tried that swap out yet. I could do one. Not tonight, but I have like the carbon fiber one. And then I have a lightweight as well in the other room. Lines Designs. Oh, nice. Oh, really? The Micarta. Yeah, I was carrying today. It's so sad, but I mean, an awesome knife of a TRM Atom in the red carbon fiber. Or I'm sorry, in the red, the red Micarta. The red carbon fiber is what I want, but yeah, they sent one out for review and I was able to check it out um, through our pass around group. So that's so awesome. And man, it was such a bummer. I had to send it out today. So 
Oh, the Flytanium Blue G10. Okay, yeah, that'll look nice. And this is the Jade one. I mean, so we can compare these, you know, one for one. If you want to see the difference. You know, the plain Jade on the bottom is Flytanium. And the top one is the new one from Benchmade. You can see how much more solid this one is. And how much more thin and milled out this one is. So you can see kind of the texture on the one on the bottom. The edges are very square. The one on top, you can see kind of the little ridge pattern. And yeah, makes it a little easier to grip. This one reminds me of like the Spyderco feel of like the G10 and stuff. So yeah, so let's get this other standoff out and see if we can put that other one in there. Let's take one of these little black ones out. We'll put the steel one in. Red titanium barrel spacers for 940-2. I would check um, two places, Blades We Love and um, Adrian's one in Australia, XXX Adrenaline XXX. Now I think we're gonna notice the difference on these two right here. So, gonna have different dimensions. It's gonna be hard to see probably. But the square looks a little bigger and even the, the hole for it, sorry you guys. So I think vice versa not sure if these will even fit in there. They may spin. Yeah, they just spin. So the standard black ones trying to fit into the, the new jade scales just spin. So they don't stop it at all. So yeah, it's not going to fit. So that's going to be a bummer if anybody wanted to do a, a scale swap out. And then obviously these are going to be too big to go in there. But the cool part is, so I'll put this one back together here in a little bit. But the really cool part is, is I have new scales for this black one here that came in. I ordered, I got lucky enough in order to set through Bashy. And I'm not sure if you know who Bashy is, Bashy Designs. But I kind of showed them off. I got a set of those. Right here, the titanium ones. So I'm thinking about building that out. So that'll probably happen a little later tonight or tomorrow. So yeah, so I mean, I can pull them out of here. Sorry. I don't know why I left them in there. Silly me, plastic in the camera. It'll look, it'll look really nice. It's got kind of that tumbled look to it. I like that, so it's not going to show a whole lot of wear right away. You can see kind of how that's going to look. I like it. Now, there's always some talk already about sending these out to Stasa to get Stasified, Stasa 23, get kind of that crazy lightning strike anno going. So, I might do that too. But I want to build these out first and show you guys and what they look like. I had to purchase these um, from him so I can do an honest review on them and I'm gonna compare them to a few of the other styles that I have as well. But so far I really like his milling on them and the tumble finish. It's real smooth here, a nice grip texture here. So, but we'll see how it goes and still got the lanyard hole for the lanyard fans, so that's good. Anybody, uh, you guys join up on Slices at all? Get to see his Benchmade one that he did tonight. The Bruising Blades with uh, some of the Benchmade knives he has. Yeah, I think they look good. Put them there. Yeah, I saw Zach on there. That's cool. Some good stuff. Yeah, you have to watch it later. It's pretty cool if you didn't. Yeah, right on. Yeah, I like that 940-1. I like those. I have one of those. The only thing I'm... The one I was carrying today... I was carrying two 940s today, uh, along with the Atom. But it was this one 
from Smoky Mountain, kind of that red resin carbon fiber. And then of course the one from Knifeworks. The other one, the TRM Atom, I mean, it's a, it's a review knife. So I try not to use it for like a whole bunch of use because it's got to go kind of pretty much brand new to the next, you know, the next person so they can review it. But yeah, that's the Knifeworks one, so. The titanium one, what was that, August? Are those coming in any kind of green? Oh, this one right here. Uh, I'm not sure on the finishes he's doing or other people. Um, I know the Anno is hard to get on that, but they can sometimes do like a coating to them. I haven't checked out the uh, Shira Grorov. No, I haven't checked that one out at all, Spirited Whiskey. Yeah, the carbon fiber is nice on that one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What are you guys carrying today? No, a few, a few of you guys that were on slices, I kind of saw those, but it goes so fast, so. Be kind of cool to find out. Bug out, nice, Kevin. The Shiro, okay, nice, Zach. What's up, Charles? Nice, thanks for joining. Are you 8015? Oh, gotcha. That's no fun. Bug out in Bark River. Oh, cool. Oh, you got the 940, Jason. Okay, nice. Got the rat, Kevin. Cool. Chaparral. Oh, yeah, okay. Hiking, nice. Got the hike in. A Pena, custom trapper. Look at that. That's a nice one. Saw some pictures on those. A couple people had those as nice. Super Freak, nice. Deca, yeah, Deca's nice. The Deca's a nice one. Let me see if I have my Deca nearby. I have it in the little package here. Hold on. Blacked out bug out, nice. OG blue bug out, nice. Large M4 griptilian. Oh, the AWT scales, yeah. Sean with Geared Tour Gear had those, uh, those scales on there. Uh, he loves them. The aluminum ones, and I've I've tried them on one of them a long time ago on a mini grip, but I wasn't a huge fan of the mini grips, so I kind of just let them go. Um, but I think I have to get some new ones, and I saw some stuff they're coming out for the bug out too, so you know that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the Boker, okay. Oh, and a Kalashnikov, nice. Delica. What's up, Bunzo? Yeah, thanks for dropping in, man. Have fun. Rocking the Benchmade Bone Collector. Oh, and a Volley, nice. Yeah, I like this. So if you haven't seen it, go check out uh, Geared Tour Gears review on the Deca. He has uh, he bought four of them, two of the blue ones and two of the brown ones, and swap blade and uh, hardware and clip and stuff. So kind of makes it really nice. But yeah, go check out his review on that. They're pretty sweet. I think the light's kind of bright on that. Turn it down a little bit. Not as much blade shine on that. Uh, I haven't looked. Maybe they are. I think maybe they just sold out the stock they have. I'm sure they'll restock, though. Unless they're planning on something new. I don't know. I mean, they just came out, like, a couple months ago. Oh, okay, nice, Spirited. Yeah, the, the swap blades he did was perfect. I almost did that, um, but you guys saw that I gave that brown one away. And uh, Women Carrying Knives actually won it, so that's pretty cool. So, otherwise I would have done that same one. Because I, I bought that one um, courtesy of your guys' support of my channel. So, I had to buy one at the at Blade Show to support back to the channel, and that was the one I chose, so. Oh, you gotta wait till Christmas. Uh oh, Jeff. Oh, they're out of stock as of tonight. Okay. Oh, you got the gold class bug out. Nice. Yeah, the I I'll tell you what. I I love my gold class bug out. It's so nice. It's a nice one. I do have a few of my bug outs here too, but. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they'd swap. Well, they have they have the black one there you can order um, just in the other color. So I'm hoping maybe they'll come out with them um, pre-done. 
and then you can just order them that way. And I'm hoping maybe they fix the clip. Um, that was my biggest one is just the clip. But Slicey was kind of um, talking about some clip options. So now it's got me thinking, like, maybe I need to go start messing around with clips and try them on, you know? Lightweight, tenacious. Oh, yeah. I like the access lock. I mean, I have stuff like, you know, the Capara, you know, that's got the little compression lock stuff on the back. And it's nice. It's smooth. You know, this is the original one. I mean, mine's pretty much drop, drop shutty. And I'd love to get a new one, but, you know, just have been... Focusing on other things right now. But yeah, I think, let me see if I have my gold class bug out here near, nearby here. If so, yeah, here we go. We'll put it out here because it kind of matches everything else. But yeah. I mean, if you're going to go bug outs, you know, this is the king. It's only available for another couple weeks. And then whatever's in stock sells out and it's gone. So it's the unlimited. What's up, Mr. Kluver? Yeah, the Deco Warncliffe is very tempting. So I'm I'm looking at maybe ordering another one. We'll we'll find out. We'll see. Um, and that's one of the ones that was on the list. So got to look at a couple of them. Yeah. Oh, LTK's video. Nice. I'll have to go watch that. Is he selling something? Yeah, the gold class is super. And this is the one that, that glows in the dark, too. So, you can... Uh, I mean, I show it most of the time, but... I'll put it off screen here so it's not as bright on you guys. Oh, you have 2526? Nice. Hey, Mark. What's up, man? Thanks for joining. Hey, Nick, what's going on? But you can see how this glows. It'd be more so if the lights weren't on here. Hold on. You can see how much it glows just from that. If the room was dark, it'd be really glowing. And it's even weaved into the carbon fiber, so get a bright light on it for a little bit. Oh, yeah, it glows. It's pretty awesome. So... I don't know what they put in their Dama Steel. This is actually from Dama Steel. Um, so, you know, it's a product they buy direct from them. Um, this is a pattern used just for the gold class bug out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what does everyone recommend for less than 150 to heal a broken heart of Georgia Dogs fan? Man, if you can get a DECA, this one's going for about 140. And hopefully they're back up on the website. Yeah, I mean, out of all the bug outs, I like the gold class one. It's still my favorite. You know? Um, and, and then it's a tie between, like, I mean, this one right here. Yeah, it's 750 That's why I'd get it somewhere else. Because some of the other ones, you get it in the 600 range. But, I mean... I kind of like this one. So this is a this is a GRY-1. It's got the gray blade. And it's got the red hardware from the Knife Center Battle Wash bug out. And then the Rogue Blade Works Carbon Fiber Carve Scales. And that's my favorite bug out. So Yeah, so that's what's up with that. But yeah, I like that one. The C-Tech, no, that one doesn't glow. But that one's nice. Yeah, that one's a nice one. And I think, um, now, if you guys are just joining, see, that's the thing. I'll tell you what. Like, there's no stick on these Able Locks in the Ritter or in the Deca. So, you know, the new, the new one here on this, on this bug out, the Jade one, there's been no problem with that one. And that's a stainless hardware one. Yeah, the black and red's awesome, Steve. But, yeah, if you guys are just joining... Um, as I drop it, the new kind of limited one they did, limited release, hopefully it kicks off the G10 explosion for the bug outs. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I selected it, so it should be on there for you guys for the chat. 
but yeah, if it's not, then it's obviously something going on because um, Sicey had the same problem earlier. Because I made sure and selected that it was on. So, anyways, but yeah, it's a it's a dual layer G10, and they mill out all the insides, and then mill it out in there. Oh, lavender pants, man. That's way too kind. Thank you. Hey, got to run, Kevin. All right, man. Thanks for joining. Lavender pants. Super chat works. Heck yeah, that's so awesome. Now, just so you guys know, um, yeah, if this one glowed in the dark, that'd be a home run. I, and I haven't checked it, so let me just double check it. But I'm pretty sure we looked at it earlier. Yeah, it does not glow. Yeah, it's pretty thin. So you can... I don't have calipers. That's the only thing I haven't bought yet. So maybe I'll get some calipers um, here for Christmas. Maybe I'll put that on my Christmas list. And then you can see they did the extra milling for the little bit of the liners, kind of those partial liners they do. So pretty cool idea. Um, I think, you know, to each his own, if the butterfly would have been smaller and moved over maybe, would have been different. I don't know. Everybody has different opinions on it, but yeah, so that's why I want to take it apart and also let you guys know the hardware, the barrel spacers on these are bigger than the standard Benchmade bug out ones. So they're a little bit bigger overall, and so they don't fit inside the old ones. Big Red, what's up? Oh, sorry. Shh, Big Red's here. Big Red's here. Don't say it too loud. Yeah, so it's kind of a bummer, like, if you're planning on switching, like, hey, I want to put, you know, different scales on this one because I don't like the scales, but I like the 20 CV. Um, you have to have another one and just do a blade swap. So you won't be able to do a scale, aftermarket scale purchase. And I know there's some people that are out there that were kind of, you know, looking at that as well. Um, people that I've bought scales from. You know, they're like, man, they have to kind of retool stuff. And you can see the holes even different on these um, size-wise. So I don't know what will be the best way to show it. But just that little itty-bitty bit of difference. But the one on top is a little bit bigger. So kind of a bummer. But I know people wanted to find out. So I figured, hey, let's see what's inside this one. So what's up, Jade? Yeah, JB's not here. It's a figment of imagination. Man, I got to tell you what, it was awesome seeing the old uh, Saturday Night Live for brunch yesterday. Nick, man, thanks for the dono. Is the 531, 535-191 still your favorite? I love my bug out gold class and carry it as EDC. It's number 2526. Carbon fiber is way better than my new G10 one. Yeah, that's so awesome. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, so this is my favorite still. This one's still my favorite. You know, it's a close... I mean, and it's got just all the wow factor to it. So it's kind of like, bam. And then this one's kind of like my new favorite because of the red and all the things I put together just kind of makes it like pop. Um, but yeah, my overall favorite is still this one. You know, I carried it on that 30-day challenge. It was just amazing. So... That's pretty cool. Nick's bringing it. Yeah, the red's awesome. So, yeah, and so the mat's pretty cool. This is from Ben from Blade HQ who left, and now he has his own thing. You know, if you follow him on Instagram, like Ben Banners, um, knives.com, K N A F S.com, you can pick up one of these. I think somebody just looked on Amazon. It's like $14.99. So, pretty cool deal. It kind of goes over all the blade types. Some basic, uh, you know, principles of what you're looking at, where things are. And it's great. You can do stuff on it. It's uh, kind of chemical resistant a little bit. So you can use, you know, your cleaners and oils and stuff on it. Yeah, so that's cool. Dude, Nick, thanks a bunch. I appreciate that. Lavender pants, same, same. Yeah, so on this one, yeah, it shows the spacers and everything. I'll move this one. You'll be seeing a review coming up on these. I'll install those here later this week. But kind of goes into everything on there. Yeah, so put one of those on your Christmas list. It's pretty cool. But I will say the Hogue Deca, it's pretty cool. You can check out my review on it. 
Uh, Sean with Gear Tour Gear, he just put out a really cool um, review. It's uh, a little bit longer, but it actually goes over all four of these. Uh, the, ni the knife's website is knafs.com. Like, you know, if you were to misspell knafs, knafs, it'd be like knafs.com. It's up here at the very top. It's probably covered here. It's right by that little circle logo. But yeah, so it's pretty cool, but kind of a bummer these don't fit because I was going to play around and put some other scales on it, but I could do a total blade swap if I wanted, but yeah, he did great videos on them. So I just finished watching his other one tonight after uh, Slicey's live stream. So that was kind of cool, but it was good to see. It was totally good to see. Anybody got any plans for knife purchases this week? Oh, the Mordax glow in the dark. That'd be sweet. Yeah. I like knives. Okay, cool. Glad, Kluver, Mr. Kluver. Glad you found it. Steve. But yeah, so... Neves, bang! What's up, Neves? Thanks. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Do we have uh, both Neves in the house? Neves knives, everybody. Neves knives. Much appreciated. Awesome. You guys are both there. I'm digging your guys' remodel. I'm following you guys on Instagram, watching that. Can't wait to see it. Looks looks exciting. Looks fun. Oh, your DLC Minix 2 finally arrives. Nice. Oh, you got a Koenig Mini Goblin? Dang. Bang, bang. Oh, the screws on the blue one, yeah. And here's the thing, like, if you if you take away, I know I brought up the screws on mine, but if you take away the ones filling the pocket clip hole, um, there's only seven of them. Total. So then you go down to five. And then on the bug out, there's four. So you get one extra, whatever. No big deal, I guess, you know. It just seems like a lot when you look at the side of it and go, wow, look at all that. But if you take those two away, you're basically the same. They just added one extra barrel spacer for rigidity. So, I mean, you could technically take that middle one out and maybe have just an awesome knife, but I don't know. What's up, Randy? What's going on? Double trouble. Bang, bang. The tall or the short knees. <laughs> That's too funny. I just got to put all that stuff back together now. Figure out which scales I want to put on it. Got the Neves family in the house. Hey, thanks, Gregory. Appreciate you joining. Yeah, we need to get Neves knives up there and do some live shows. That could be fun. Both Neves. <laughs> That's almost like knives. Both knives, both knives. eBay knives and ivory knives. <laughs> 20 more subs to a thousand. Oh man, we need to get that going. Holy cow. Just ordered the rock scale tie scale for your, from your knife or for your knife center bug out. Yeah, the the carbon fiber is nice from, uh, I mean, they're both really nice. Neves posted the funniest vid last night. Nice. Yeah, if you're not following Neves Knives, go give them a subscribe there. The rock scale ties are, are nice. I mean, I have their back spacers, all sorts of stuff. Here's one right here, a flat one. I put a geared one on my purple one. If you saw that video. Yeah, let's get Neves to a thousand for sure. Think about how much fun we all could have watching Neves live. Yep, Ben, formerly of Blade HQ. It's good stuff. I think 2020 is going to be better. I think they're picking a new direction for a lot of those knives. 
I think they're getting out of the serration business. If you can see what's going on with that, they're going to stick to probably more of their black class knives having serrations. And then maybe just a couple of staples like Kryptilians and stuff. But yeah. I know, that's kind of weird, huh? Spirited. Yeah, we'll get them up there. We'll do a little push on Instagram later. Night, P. Watkins. I appreciate you joining. Yeah, Neves is pretty cool. Get Chad to a thousand on Instagram. I'm in Neves. Right on. That's so cool. Yeah, I gotta send I gotta send a honey badger back this week because it's lost kind of its detent. Thanks, Nick. So you can see the difference like on this one. This is the D2 version. Um, it's pretty loose already. And then here's the same one here. <laughs> so quite the difference between them. So yeah, I've got to send this one back, I think, which is a bummer because it's got the red backspacer, but it just won't, it just won't fire out all the way. So unless, unless you guys know of a way to fix that detent in there without me sending it back, I haven't messed around too much with these liner lock flippers. I have I have some of my knives with me. Oh, you did? Big Red? That's funny. Move the lock bar? Okay. What's up, D's knives? Not to be confused with Neve's knives. D's knives. Yeah, and I use so I use some of mine for work the serration so it works really good and then on the regular pocket carry ones i don't have them so yeah tom beth those ones i have on my bug out or my bailout are sick he made them so crazy sharp oh really it's not bad centering on yours yeah my centering's okay i mean it's pretty good centering on it but I'll have to move that lock bar over. Let me try that really quick. Do a little a detent hole, maybe full of crap. A blind hole. Huh. Never heard of a blind hole on that. I know what you're talking about, though, on the, the blade. I'll have to look. But it should fire out, though, better, though, shouldn't it? Or maybe because there's not, if it's not dropping into that hole there. I wonder if it's a six. Is it a six on there? No, it's gonna be an eight. Maybe these are sixes. These might be sixes. Yeah, I'll try the 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 liner lock first. All of a sudden, I get like a uh, rhymes with laughs, naffs. Tongue in cheek way to say knives. These knives. Uh oh, Danny's out. These knives. See you later. With a southern accent, like knives. Oh, yeah, totally. Mr. Kluver, I appreciate the uh, lesson. The learned lesson. Yeah, from his sight, yeah. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying, OCD. Yeah, I'll tear it apart when I get it off here. Moving the moving the liner lock helped a little tiny bit. A little bit better. Uh, maybe I'll clean it next. <laughs> That's funny, Zach. The mini Jade? Yeah, it's in the other room, man. I was carrying it the other day. And I don't think I have it here with me. Let me double check. <laughs> 
That's funny, Fallen. Yeah, I think the Mini's in the other room. Oh, really? Yours is off too, Marcus? That's crazy. Yeah, it's in the other room. Sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to get a 940? Well, if you're talking about ones that are on the market that you can buy right now, I would say get a G10 version, a 940-2. Yeah, I have both, Mr. Kluver. I have the exclusive one they did, the international dealer exclusive one that was a JG10, the full-size freak. Then I also have the Mini Freak with Jade Scales, the Mini Freak Jade, Sc Jade Scales from Rogue Blade Works. So D's Knives, I would say a 940-2 would be a good one, solid. And you can kind of upgrade hardware and parts and things like that if that's what you want to do later on. Uh, aluminum's good, as long as you're ready for the wear on it and the feel of the aluminum. Um, kind of has a powdery feel to it when you first get it, and then as it breaks in, it gets pretty smooth. So that's the only difference. I have both. I mean, I carried an aluminum one for 15 years, and uh, now kind of the synthetic products have taken over. So you have more of your G10, you know, your carbon fiber, things like that are more out there. Neves Shots and Thoughts. It's kind of a cool one. Yeah, the chalk's not, the chalky feeling's not bad, but to me, it's like, Right out of the box, the G10's better. Hey, Nick, right on, man. Thanks again. You're way too kind, man. Do you find the new G10 bug out slippery? I'm putting it on display and carrying the gold class due to the carbon fiber. They need carbon fiber scales. Yeah, so I do find this a little bit... I mean, it's got a wave pattern to it that's textured, so it's not just smooth flat, which is good. Um, but it feels like it's more for the vertical. So it's like more textured going vertical like this versus like this. And you're going to pull it out of your pocket like this. So I find myself on the clip more than I do. Um, you know, similar like that G10 over there is real grippy. So the carbon fiber is nice. Um, but uh, you know, this c is pretty smooth too, but I carry that gold class quite a bit. So. And the Micarta, yeah, I mean, poof. What's up, Tom? What's up, Benny? Yeah, so it's good. Nick, thanks again, man. That's awesome. Yeah, carbon fiber scales would be nice. I mean, I have the carbon fiber ones here, or the carved ones, but these are like super smooth. This carbon fiber is right here. So there's no texturing on this. So I, I use, utilize the clip quite a bit pulling it out so that little... uh you know, depression, that little bump right there works really good when you're pulling out of your pocket. And since we're talking about it, I have the, and I got your question, Neves. I'll be right back to it. I just want to pull these out real quick. Since we're talking about all the bug outs, let's just do it. Since we're seeing what's inside of them. So there's your rock scale, titanium, and these are all, you know, lines that are cut into the titanium, so provides for some traction, which is nice. What's up, Lorenzo? Thanks for joining. Got your G10, the carved scales from Rogue Blade Works, which are pretty awesome. Hey, nice. You just made 300. Congrats. And then, of course, these right here, Micarta from Rogue Blade Works. He could probably make 500 sets of these and sell them in like an hour because this is pretty awesome stuff. And mine's got some patina through it and the oils and stuff, but. I don't think so, Big Red. I'm gonna have to move my camera way out. We're, uh, we're pushing out all the, all the bug outs here. But yeah. And so Neves, uh, so yeah, on the DECA, I'm really digging the DECA. And um, you know, you guys probably see my video on it. Uh, Sean Gear Tour Gear just put out another good video on his. He did some blade swapping, which is awesome. Um, only a couple things that I have on it are the closure on this one because when it closes, it comes pretty close. Like right here, if you close it, it comes pretty close to my palm. 
So I've had to move it out a couple times and just get used to it because it's it's got a little bite to it before. It's cut my old palm a little bit, but it's all good. It's just how you use it. Um, but it's because of the back end of the scale. But then the pocket clip. We need to do something with the pocket clip. So I'm going to have to message Slicey and see what uh, other clips he found that fit. But yeah, so I like it. I like the worn clip version. Uh, I might have to try one out before I buy it. I don't know. So we'll see. Yeah, the GRY one's nice. So, oh, your video's up tomorrow, OCD. Okay. Yeah, so those Rogue Anno ones, the Thai ones he had at Blade Show West. Oh my gosh. Those are really nice. So, yeah, he said the worn clip doesn't bite. So that's pretty good. Uh, the only thing it would be would be sharpening. I know it's kind of got a little bit different, you know, grind to it. So it looks like it's got a flat grind through here and then it kind of sweeps up. So kind of a long tanto version ish. But yeah. And then he also rogue also just posted, uh, some new G 10 for the mini freak and some spacers tonight. So I reposted that on my Instagram story. Holy cow. I'm like, yes to that. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. <clears throat> but, yeah, so is there anything you guys want to see uh, bug out wise or maybe some other bench maids I might have? Since I got a lot out on the table, I'm going to have to build those back, put them back together a little bit. But kind of cool. I just want to show you guys kind of what's in there, you know. No, I probably don't have the most bug outs. I, you know, I just try to keep the diversify, uh, diversification going. Try to diversify. Yeah, that's cool, OCD, man. I mean, can't wait for your video tomorrow, too. Yeah, Randy. Yeah, heck yeah. That's awesome. Of course. Black thumb studs, yeah. Yeah, definitely. You like the Deca better than the dugout or the bug out? Never touched a bug out. Yeah, I mean, it's personal preference, totally. How about those new 940 scales you got? You mean the blue ones? I think those are, oh, did I put those away already? I got something special going with those. I'm trying to think. Yeah. They are sick. Let me see if I can find them really quick. They got to be here somewhere close. You know, like when you organize, you're like, where'd that stuff go? A Benchmade 310? Does it have a name to it? I'm trying to remember a 310. be an older one. Because I think the All-A is like 380, and the new All-A that's coming out Monday, tomorrow, is a 381. It's got the built-in cigar cutter. Come on now, you gotta try that at least, right? At least it'll be a good price compared to the regular cigar cutters. They're like four hundred bucks. Okay, I'm tracking down those mall scales here. Hold on. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm hoping SHOT Show pays off for a whole bunch of cool stuff. The SHOT Show will be nice if they roll out with a bunch of new stuff for SHOT Show. They should have a new gold class for next year they're going to show off. You know, following history. Then they'll have a SHOT Show exclusive. All right, look what I got here. I think these are going to be the scales we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Mini Super Freak. Yeah, exactly. So here we go. Here's those 940 scales. And these would go on like a 940-2 or 940-1. They would not fit on a standard 940. But you can see the milling, rock scale design, logo inside. But crazy anno. And just the texturing here is so nice goes in so many directions. So if you see any little discoloring, like right through here, it's just the oils from my hands. It wipes off and goes back to blue. So 
But yeah, so these are nice. They're gonna be, you'll see those again here shortly. Gold class mini Kruger. That one was so nice, but that was like $1,300 more than I wanna spend on it. <laughs> yeah, these are cool. You know, these are put out by Rock Scale Design, so you can check out his website. I'll put a link to all these all these aftermarket websites uh, when the video posts. But they look incredible. Uh, if you saw my other video, the Rock Scale Design video, I installed them on one of the knives. So, yeah, Randy, that one goes. I think that one's like fifteen hundred retail and goes for like thirteen something through some of the websites. It's wild. So we'll put this right down here. Put the deck over here. Close it so it doesn't bite me. Just kidding. But yeah, definitely check out. I mean, if you watch my video, thank you. Uh, but also go check out Sean's. And it sounds like OCD is going to have one tomorrow on the deck as well. So what's up, Rusty? Trying to see what else we got going here. Well, let's see here. Yeah, so this is a 940. Uh, it's the Knifeworks exclusive. Black G10 with uh, blue G10. It's kind of a layered, as you can see. And then they mill it out. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's see here. I was looking for one more thing on my table here. I do have one 943 that's used. I've been carrying it for a while. It's pretty cool. Hey, Zach, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. The thumb studs on the Deca are a little sharp on the corners, so they're not rounded. So if you look at... Like right there, you can see kind of how they're, let's see here, how they're kind of rounded uh, on parts and then sharp on the others. That's the only thing that, you know, right here, kind of gets you a little bit, but you get used to it. But the edges on it are actually sharp. You can run your fingers across it and it's kind of like it drags on it. So if you're doing a lot of fidgeting with it, it might be messed up a little bit, but I haven't had no problems with it. I've been carrying it, so. Yeah, Halden, so the 940 20th anniversary is next year, so hoping to see some cool 940s out. Production, it'd be kind of cool if they did the gold class as well, too. Do I like the blade shape better than the 940? No, I like the 940 blade shape. It's pretty cool. I think probably because it's just one that I've carried for, you know, almost 20 years now. No, no news on the Mini Freak. Um, Rogue put out his stuff earlier tonight. Some G10 scales, he's finishing up. So, hoping that they're uh, the Benchmade's got a production model in the works. Maybe that's what you know is coming to Blade HQ and stuff. I don't know. Nine forty or five thirty-five? You only have one. Oh, Nick, that's a good question. Uh, standard stock. Uh, probably go with the nine forty. Yeah. 940 for me. You guys probably might have different different ideas though. Hey Benny, thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. Deca or bug out? For me, it's a bug out. If they fixed a couple of those little things on the Deca, it'd be a great competition, you know. And for me, it's like, you know, I have so many options in the bug out. I mean, I could, you know, I mean, deep carry pocket clip and then fix the little back edge on there so it doesn't bite my hand then I'm in, you know, as like a top carry. Right now, it's a great carry, but as I bumped the camera. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do something kind of fun, I think, tonight, since we got a live going, and you guys are all joining me. Um, let's see here, kind of big red style. I think we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway on something, just a little something, nothing too crazy, because I finally have my 3,000 posting this week, so... We'll have a few giveaways in there. 
but yeah, so let's do a giveaway. Um, let's do similar style to what Big Red does, where you'll do two letters. Um, you know, you won't until I give the go. Um, then yeah, unless Big Red wants to do it for me, but Big Red might want to guess. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, so that's one of the things we're doing, but. So yeah, so let's see, I got my piece of paper. We're gonna fold it up. We're gonna put it on the table. Oh, you'll help? Okay, cool, thanks Big Red. I got you the geared icon too. I had to do that last time. I got to do that for a few more people too. It's super helpful, especially when you get things going crazy. So, so there is what I have going and what's written on there. So yeah. So what I'll say is, is that, um, to guess, you just need to do like a, a, b, b, c, c. It won't be any of those. Uh, wait till you see start on the screen from big red and then just go ahead and guess, make sure your caps locks is on and we'll go from there. So, Hey, Billy, thanks for joining. We're just doing this giveaway. What's the giveaway going to be for? That's a good question, too. We're going to throw out one of these. Work Sharp, Guided Field Sharpener from Work Sharp themselves. I bought these at Blade Show West. And, yeah, so I want to do that as a giveaway. So that'll be the giveaway I'll do. I'll throw in some stickers and stuff as well. And, uh, yeah, send that out tomorrow. So... Yeah, so Big Red, if you want to go ahead and give them the starting gate, then we'll go ahead and uh, look at answers after that. Good luck, everybody. Let's make sure to guess after you see the start from Big Red on the screen. Two letters, doesn't matter what they are. There's the start from Big Red. Now the question is, is can we keep up? That's the hard part. Because it goes so fast. Once I see one, I'll let you guys know. And then we'll go back and confirm. Just because I don't want to miss anybody or skip anybody. You guys got some good guesses. <laughs> That's awesome. I see some good guesses in there. Got to make sure it's two letters, Matt. That's going for a little bit tonight. It's going to make it a little harder to go back and double check. It goes for another 30 seconds or so then I'll probably give you the first letter and then it'll be quick after that I'm sure clue ya okay so I'm gonna give you the first letter so if everybody's ready for the first letter the first letter is R. Okay. I think I saw a winner. So go ahead and hold your guesses. Hold your guesses. I think I saw a winner. Now let's open it up and we'll take a peek real quick. And then we'll also scroll back through. If uh, Big Red, you can help me scroll back through it too. I think I saw Rusty get it, but I want to go back and double check first. So RD was the winner, was the winning for Rock Scale Designs, RD. So it made it a little harder because they're, they're a triple letter thing, but I had to pick two letters. So put Rock Scale together. So I'm pretty sure that Rusty was the first one that got them, but I'm going to go back and Scroll through real quick and just double check. So I don't want to skip anybody. 
Some close ones. Some real close ones. It's harder I don't have my laptop set up, so appreciate you guys holding on while I go back and double check because we just want to make sure it's fair for everybody. Plus, I don't have any more of these in here, so <laughs> only want to give one away. Yeah, so I see I see Rusty as the winner. Yeah, Spirited, yours was right after uh, Rusty's. So... You were close, but there's uh, there's about three or so in between you guys. Awesome. Well, Rusty, congrats. Um, just send me a message on Instagram or my email, which will be in the description down below. And uh, I'll have you confirm it, and then we'll go from there. But, yeah, I appreciate you guys joining me, man. Um, that's awesome. So, yeah, awesome, Mr. Kluver. I appreciate that. So, let's donate spam. Yeah, let's give everybody congrats, Rusty. That's awesome. Yeah, and you guys, you know, I appreciate all the donations tonight. Those go right back into here. So, you know, help helps me pick up some stuff for you guys to review and for me to give away. That's pretty awesome. So, dude, Nick, that's so awesome, man. Nick's, Nick's got the good guy award for tonight. So, doing something kind. Well, I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week. I'm going to try to do the same. Make sure to do something kind for someone. And one of the things I really want to look forward to is just giving you guys some more good content. So it helps with all the feedback. You guys keeping it real is awesome. And especially joining me. There's 50 of you right now joining me. So that's so cool. So anyways, you guys take care. We'll catch up in the instagrams and the chats and have a good night